I'm State Senator Karin Housley, and here with my group, uh, and Senator Abler and Senator Aki, uh, we have before uh, the committee yesterday the long-term care rescue package. Uh, we've all heard, and you've heard me in my Aging and Long-Term Care Committee over the last two years talk about the crisis that we are in. Um, our long-term care facilities, our assisted livings, our nursing homes have been uh, just decimated by COVID, and we are in a real crisis. They were in a crisis even before COVID. They were down 9,000 employees, open vacancies for, for those folks to help take care of our most vulnerable. Now there are 23,000 vacancies, and, and our, our facilities, our assisted living homes, are struggling to find people to come and work to help take care of these folks, and they're having a hard time retaining these folks also. So what this bill will do... Um, we have retention bonuses for those folks that have already been working in the long-term care facility. They will, uh, from PCAs to nurses to um, hospice, hospice cares, palliative care folks, um, $1,000 retention bonuses for those folks. Um, then we will have hiring bonuses, um, $1,500 for those folks who are interested in going into this uh, wonderful caring line of work. Um, $750 upon hiring uh, after they've worked there for 30 days, and then another $750 five months later. And then to also help out with their training and their um, uniforms, um, there is another $1,500 per person to help take care of their education training uh, and work attire. The whole package um, comes to $265,000. Oh, no. $265,000 for the PACE program is also in here, and that's a bill that we heard last year in committee um, to help our seniors stay in their home longer by coordinating their care and making things more streamlined and a lot simpler. Um, so the whole bill is 300 and, what is it, 260? 22. It changed. Oh. 322. $322 million we will be uh, infiltrating to help hire and retain long-term caregivers uh, and help our, our assisted living in our nursing homes. 